All right, so to tell you guys a little bit more about the topic for today, which is reaching your max level, I want to give some context as to why I'm qualified to tell you a little bit more about this subject. So um, I'll just start off and tell you a little bit more about me. My name is Tariq Ali Kane. I am the co-founder and CEO of our company, Pitchplay Co. We, we are like an agency. Um, I have a team of career coaches that are, I hire through as independent contractors um, for our clients and they come to us who want to learn about the game of business. Business is a game and we teach you how to play. I not only teach people how to play through career coaching and my network of coaches, we also have game inspired courses such as Career Tycoon that have the career foundations that every young professional or even older professional that's been out of the game for some time, um, they need to understand and know about building their resume, about understanding that they are a professional as a player in the game, and that you are in complete complete control of your portfolio. Excuse me. Um, I, like I mentioned, am a career coach. I've been coaching for quite some time. I am a very, very passionate educator. I love the concept of growth and development, and I am extremely happy about helping other people realize their their potential. As a as a professional, I've done quite a bit. I've worked in marketing organizations, cybersecurity, um, operations. Let's see. Like I said, I was an educator. Um, um, marketing. I, I've I've done quite a bit that has actually made me a jack of all trades and learn almost everything I, uh, not finance or or uh the, you know there are probably some things that slip in my mind right now not not graphic design or anything like that but i understand the concept of organizational structures and operational efficiency uh, and that's what i that's what i've taken away from my corporate experience and i help other people um business owners ceos c-suite people I help other people level up their businesses and make sure that their team and, and, and their operations are operating at peak efficiency. I'm a certified professional. I have a degree in theoretical mathematics. And in addition to, to my bachelor's degree in theoretical mathematics, I've studied at MIT, Harvard, Georgia Tech, Cornell um, to receive certifications in specific areas. Uh, I'm enrolling to get my PhD. And like I said, I absolutely love the concept of growth and development so i am am an embodiment of of why you should never stop leveling up why you should attempt to reach your max level so what is leveling up leveling up is when someone or something masters a skill and then moves to a higher level of challenge there are plenty of times that we've we feel like we've accomplished something in our lives and we just lay, lean back, kick our feet up and we go, well, I did it. Uh, time to relax. Um, and unfortunately, a lot of us get to that place in life and we never get out of that mindset. We stay in that mindset. Do not stay in that mindset. It is the biggest detriment to your personal development and growth. I uh, heard Kobe Bryant once say, Rest at the end, not in the middle. While you are on this earth, it is your obligation to make sure that you're doing everything in your power to get to a level that, that you didn't even think that you can accomplish. And the only way that you'll do that is by, as you see on the definition, mastering a skill and then moving to a higher level of challenge. So, so master the skill on the level that you're currently at and then get to the next level. The very first job that I had, I was a a salesman at Finish Line. I didn't work there often. I was 15 years old. I, I didn't work there long enough. I was 15 years old, and I I had a temporary seasonal job, so I worked there during the summer. I did learn about the foundations of business, but not too much. My next job, I believe it was at Checkers, and I worked extremely hard because I had a much longer opportunity than than three months a lot of the employees and my, my co-workers at the time thought it was so silly of me for working so hard but because of that role I actually 
leveled up. You know, experience is experience. You can't sleep on your journey. It doesn't matter where you're at. I learned more about business, more about showing up on time, more about disgruntled coworkers and and, and dealing with difficult people, uh, customer service. There are a lot of things that you can take from the current level that you're at in order to move up to the next level. I could not be talking to you today as a CEO if I didn't take the time out of my day or, 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 and, you know, didn't take the time out of my day to actually put in the effort. But, but more realistically, if I did not work diligently from level one to get to level 10 or level 20 or level 30, regardless of the case, I had to take every single detail of my job serious in order to understand how to run a company of my own. So that's why you should never sleep on your level and make sure that you're putting forth the effort where you're currently at. This character is Billy Appleseed. He is from our course, Career Tycoon, Career Foundations. And, and the important part of Career Tycoon is that it starts you off as though you know nothing. Let's say you don't understand anything about the concept of business at all. We're taking you from level one to let's say level 10. So, so in the idea of corporate, you have body armor, which the highest armor or, or very impressive armor is a suit and tie. It, you can get creative. Not everyone wears a suit and tie, but just from the casual uh, conception of, of a corporate worker, you have your suit and tie. Everything that you learn from the first level to to the, the level that Billy has gotten to wear a suit and tie is all important. To, in order to become a career tycoon, you have to take every detail serious um, and eventually you become an entrepreneur tycoon, a business tycoon. You just start to grow more and more and more and reach a level that you never thought that you could achieve. Never sleep on your level. Let me tell you some perks about growing and developing. One is that fulfillment. You get fulfillment, or at least I get fulfillment, when I look back at where I was and I go, you know what, I'm glad that I put forth the effort because, okay, let's say for example, today we had technical difficulties. I'm feeling low. We promoted this on our, on our, multi, on our, on our platforms on social media. So we promoted this on multiple platforms. We couldn't perform it on Twitch. I felt low, but you have to to push through certain difficult times. And once you get through those difficult times, you look back on this a year from now, two years from now and go, man, I'm really happy that I push I push through that. We never really, truly are satisfied um, with what we have. That's why you must always be grateful. And through that. And, 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 and through that hard work, now you feel fulfilled or you feel a sense of fulfillment as you're looking around at what you have and go, man, I'm really happy that I put forth the energy and effort to improve myself. Um, so there's a sense of fulfillment in, in growing and developing. Also, you know, it took me years. Obviously, I couldn't present this to you when I was 19 years old, but it took me years to look in the mirror and go, ah, I see my strengths, I see my weaknesses, and, and this is how I continue to, to get better. I have this self-actualization that I can develop my strengths, but really hyper-focus on my weaknesses to make sure that, that I'm having a healthy balance to, to become better every single day. A lot of people don't take that time to realize that, that they're strong in some areas and weak in other areas, and then eventually they become managers. In some cases, they become managers or leaders, and they don't delegate properly. Now, they never have that self-actualization to realize their position, to realize um, where they're strong at, where they're weak at. Uh, and they think because they're a manager, because they have the title, they can just crack the whip and everyone will do what they say and everything will work out perfectly. There's no self-actualization in that. But when you try to reach your max level, you start to realize, OK, OK, I didn't get this way overnight or I didn't get here because I was good at this and bad at this. I got here because of the hard work that I put in. And now I can see that in others because I'm starting to see it in myself. And then that starts to open up a complete realm of opportunities. Guys, I am a business owner. I am an entrepreneur. 
just from putting forth the effort every single day, so many different opportunities has opened up for me. I have spoken in universities in multiple countries. Um, and, and, and just my second year of, of owning a business, I've spoken to to hospitals, to group homes, um, you know, places that I never even thought I would be at. I've been in events, not just me, my team as well. I've been in events. So so just from leveling up and surrounding myself and people that level up, the opportunities have just expanded and they keep growing. The more I grow, the more opportunities I receive um, there. There are cases where people get opportunities and they're not putting forth the effort. That, that, that is always true. Opportunity always knocks. The point that I'm saying is the type of opportunities that knock opens up once you start putting forth more energy and leveling up your, your professional life, your personal life, regardless of what you do, reaching your max level, uh, make sure you put forth that effort and the next thing you know, you're skyrocketing and the opportunities are grand. Boom, the impact. Like I said, I'm surrounding myself with people who are also leveling up. And I get phone conversations or text messages or emails um, from, from many people. And they tell me, you know, you once said something to me, something I completely forgot about. And it really helped me put things into perspective. It really made me focus. It really increased my my motivation and, and, and inspired me. The impact that you have not only on yourself, but other people because you've leveled up is phenomenal. Make sure you never, ever, ever stop reaching your max level or stop attempting to reaching your max level, attempting to reach your max level. Be resilient. Like I said, I had technical issues today. I, I'm feeling all low and and I'm not feeling happy. I'm calling my wife. I'm like, oh, I had to delete it. You know, the stream didn't go well. You know, I'm talking to an empty screen where a new business, uh, you know, it, there's not a hundred hundreds of eyes on me. Um, so I, I'm I feel like I can just delete it and no one's going to see. No, be resilient to reach your max level. You're going to go through tough times and you're going to have to push through those tough times. And that's exactly what I did today. And I'm not telling you that to brag. I'm telling you that, that this is what I go through on a daily basis basis, especially starting your own business. There are highs, a lot of lows. Push through all of those lows and remain humble during those highs and just be resilient. Continue to put in the work. Continue to level up. This turns you into a role model. Remember the impact that you had. Remember those opportunities that you're getting. Remember that you're realizing exactly who you are. That sense of fulfillment that you found from putting in the work. That, that toughness, that grit that you're building from being resilient, you are now becoming a role model without even noticing. There, there's some child, there's some peer, there's some elder that's watching you going, I got to be like you. I got to be like you. Tell me how you've done that. Tell me what you've, you've done to accomplish those things. And you say, hey, I've just made sure I continue to level up. That's exactly what I've done. I can show you how through through uh, through an example. You know, I can tell you, and and sure you might get some of these less lessons, but I can show you by being resilient. I can show you through my actions, and then that's you become a role model just from leveling up. Adaptability. Like I said, there are highs and lows, but there are situations where you feel like you've planned appropriately you feel like you've done everything right for example i had technical issues today you learn to adapt the higher level you 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 uh you grow i want to say you achieve or you accomplish but you know the higher your level is in terms of a video game the more you learn how to become adaptable just just make sure that you are continuing to grow never stop i'm going to repeat this a million times as you're seeing never stop growing always continue to level up and then boom, the quality of, the quality of your life gets amazing. Uh, some people chase money. That that's not leveling up. You're gaining more resources. That's that's fantastic. But what good is having all the resources in the world if you if you've done absolutely nothing to improve your own self, to improve your own life? Um, you know, sometimes we get we get 
the resources that we want. Let's say you hit the lottery and you get a million dollars uh, or millions of dollars, or, you know, whatever the lottery the, um, winnings are. And then you start to go out and do things because because you have the resources to do it. But you're putting yourself in a terrible position because you're not doing the right things. When you level up and and you start to be resilient, you find that sense of fulfillment you become a role model you you understand your impact and then you get those resources remember it doesn't matter about the highs you meet you're being humble it doesn't matter about the lows you're being resilient you are still going to level up regardless of the resource resources that you have and those resources will come and now the quality of your life has improved positively now you're making an impact in so many different areas, all because you said, I'm never going to stop growing and I'm never going to stop developing. That is one reason why I've created, along with my wife, the company Pitch Play Co. That is one reason why we said, hey, this whole thing is a game. We have to continue to level up. That's why we tell people, gamify your career. Never stop leveling up. Never stop leveling up. So, gamify your career. How do we do that? Typically, when I have a client and they come to me, we have a consultation. I understand their strengths and weaknesses. We do a quick assessment. I understand what industry they want to get in. And then I, I pair them with a coach in our network and we devise a roadmap and a plan to make sure that they're getting and achieving their goals. But to gamify it, I can give you a concept that will work without a career coach or not. Um, it is great to have that professional help, and that's why we're here. But let's just talk about what you need to do to gamify your career. Every game has an objective. Mario, Sonic, Donkey Kong, NBA 2K, um, League of Legends, Overwatch, you know, old school to new school, Pac-Man. Every single game has an objective. What are your objectives? What are your objectives? You need to ask yourself this and define these things. What are your objectives? As you start to realize what your objectives are, you need to make sure that you're applying your skills to achieve those objectives. So you have a skill tree. Not every game has a skill tree, uh, but but a lot of newer games do. And those skill trees are, let's say, your charisma, your resiliency, your intellect, regardless of what you think of, because there are many different skills that you can develop identify your skills and say hey these are the skills that I need and these are the skills in my skill tree that I need to build up the more you build up those skills the easier it is for you to achieve your objectives and have a point system you need a way to measure these these goals that you have that you've made that you've written out using your skills to get to those objectives make sure you're measuring measuring those things because sometimes we defeat ourselves and we go oh man i'm nowhere near where i want to be and i and i i'm not even close to achieving my objectives it's okay <sighs> take a deep breath let's look at our measurables and go all right last year let's say you're trying to lose weight last year i was at 200 pounds and now i'm at 195 i'm not my goal of let's say 185 but i did lose five pounds Give yourself a point system. Measure it out. That, that's just one example, but give yourself a point system so you can measure it. Understand that all games are about competition, whether you're competing against yourself or competing against the, uh, the computer or, or an actual another human being. Regardless, it's all about competition. So make sure that you realize that the game of business is not a solo player game. You are in a competition, so you are going to have to compete. If you understand it from that point, you don't have to play dirty, you just have to understand that you can't lay down and allow the world to beat you up, allow the situation to beat you up. Mm -mm, mm -mm. We're not doing that, we're not giving up. We're gonna make sure that we are victorious by the end of this game because I, I can track all my points. I understand how many more points I need to score, uh, how many more points I need to get. And if I can get those points, then I'm going back to my skill tree and I'm making sure I'm developing those skills that I said. And now I'm realizing the more I achieve those objectives, I'm winning this competition easily and you can do that. And then the rewards come. 
We spoke uh, we spoke about the quality of, of life as you level up. That's the same thing that you're going to receive once you've achieve your objectives you're going to get those rewards whether it's that self-fulfillment um whether it's the self-actualization the impact that you have the role model that you're becoming the resources that you're gaining gamify your career turn it into a game realizing that realize that it's a competition and you can win in your game that you've created there will be rewards coming with those as you continue to level up and achieve your objectives all right, so let me tell you about a success story. My very, very first client, this is when I realized I had a passion for career coaching, was an old friend of mine that I used to go to college with. I used to be a teaching assistant and I taught college algebra and pre-calculus at Georgia State University, and my friend was a student. I got to know a little bit more about her while she was attending my class and I used to tutor her. Called her years after I graduated and just, hey, how are you doing? Is everything going okay? You know, I just wanted to check up on you. She tells me about her life and she tells me about her goals. She wanted to make a certain amount of money to take care of her, her son, and her mother. The amount of money that she told me, I thought, that's that's too low. You're you're better than that, and I think I can get you more. She said, are you sure? I'm like, I th- I think I can get you more. Um, I know a recruiter. I'm, let's let's focus on your resume. Let's let's reshape your perspective on the value that you bring. Let's update your value proposition, and let's get you this. Let's let's get you in front of this recruiter and see if she thinks she can find a spot for you. The recruiter looks at her resume. The recruiter eventually tells her that she has an interview. Our friend calls me. I, I have an interview. Uh, I don't know, you know what I should say, what I should do. You know, I don't really feel like I'm qualified. Okay, and then let's study the company, let's study the goals, let's study the values, let's study the position, um, let's study other professionals who have this exact same title. You know, let's go on LinkedIn and see what they do, if they have their um, descriptions inside of their portfolio. Let's, let's, let's really research this thing. So we practiced for about an hour. I gave her homework to do. You know, at, at that point, I've done my job. Let's see if she's going to go out and, and actually, you know, do the homework. Sure enough, she did. She calls me. I got a second interview. I got a second interview. We'll do the exact same thing based off of the questions that we were told that she was going to be asked for the second interview. And eventually she called me and told me that she got the job. The price was double. The, the salary was double the objective that my friend originally set. That type of story shows me that that sometimes we limit ourselves and we're not setting objectives um, that that really reflect the value that we bring. This is why I love what we do and I love Pitch Play Co. and why I started the Next Level Coaching Program, which is <clears throat> a, free lo- a freelancing coaching network. So I get coaches that have been there, done that, who are high in their industry. Um, highly touted, real regard, um, well regarded, uh, you know, very renowned professionals. And I make sure that I'm tying them with individuals that, like my friend, need to have that motivation and guidance to make sure that they're getting to the next level, next level coaching. Never stop reaching your ma- your max level. This is why I started this company. Um, we have game inspired courses too. So whether you get a coach or not, you can. We still have the resources to make sure that you're moving up in your position. But I absolutely love that story. I still talk to my friend to this day, and now her goals are even higher. And and this is why I love making sure that there are other success stories in our company just like this one. I once started a YouTube channel called King Kane. This is my gaming channel. I, I stream games still to this day, but um, I've then started doing other types of artistic expressions, such as short form videos of reviews or, or um, oh, telling my life story. There's a video called School of Afrotech, um, and I was able to build up my channel a little bit more. It's my personal hobby, but the very, very first gaming podcast episode that I did was called the best way to start is to start and that applies to everything in life 
do not be afraid to start. You'll never fail if you don't try, but you'll never succeed either. It's way better to try and gain that experience because experience is experience and you are going to level up just from trying. You're going to gain experience. Um, there are certain games such as JRPGs, Japanese role playing games, where you still gain experience even if you don't complete the mission. Now, sometimes you can fail a mission and continue playing. Uh, sometimes you have to start over if you fail the wrong mission, but the, the whole concept is you're gaining experience just from trying, just from being out there. The best way to start is to start. Never let anything hold you back. Once you start and you start to find what works for you, you start to realize that you can continue to build up yourself through putting yourself through this rigorous routine. Have and stick to that routine. That routine is going to help you level up even when you have tough times for example like today we had technical difficulties it was my human nature to to tell me just like oh, let's just give up let's not post this video let's not do it let's delete the post everywhere on social media no my routine is from this from this time to this time i'm going to work on these things and because this was an objective that i had today I made sure that I stuck to my routine regardless of the difficulties and got this video out to you. This is applicable for every aspect of your life, not just professionally, physical, mental, spiritual. Make sure you're working on yourself at all facets of life. Continue to grow, continue to develop, continue to level up. There are difficult times, I get it, and that's why having that routine keeps you pushing through those difficult times. I love this. I, I said this to this university in Paris when I was talking about setting and achieving goals. You don't become the person you wish to become. You become the person you choose to become. Choose to attempt to reach your max level. Never stop leveling up. If you enjoyed this pitch playground session even though it was not our usual live session and we had to pre-record it and keep up with us follow us on linkedin pitch um pitch play co on all of our platforms or pitchplay.co on certain platforms um, on linkedin instagram tiktok and youtube we are we are being told to get on twitter we have not gone on twitter yet um that, that's really my fault uh, you know i'm the Blame it on me. Uh, eventually, we might be there as our marketing department grows and we continue to 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 try to expand our reach to make sure that everyone hears the messages just like this. But keep up with us. We love the support. Um, our next Pitch Playground session, I'll talk a little bit more about products that we have coming out on um, our next game inspired course or more success stories. Um, I would love to do it live so I can catch up with people directly and hear things that they like to talk about. Um, our first pitch play ground session we had, a sec uh, part of it was called um, Office Do's and Office Don'ts, or, or maybe it was just Office Don'ts, and that was fun and exciting, so I wanna do more things like that. But just keep up with us. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, sorry about the technical difficulties. We really love you guys' support. Remember, never stop reaching your max level. Are you ready to become a career tycoon? Let's level up your career and show you how you can go from this to this. We designed our course, Career Tycoon, to be the ultimate model for college and university students, as well as working professionals. Unlock the power of your career by taking an adventure through career building levels. You'll acquire skills that can help you master the workforce. Unlock treasure and even see real life sessions with our other pitch players as they unlock their potential. All this and so much more. Are you ready? Let's play.